It's Shana Wanjohi. I am a toaster ambassador. And for the past two months, I have been studying abroad in Japan, more specifically Tokyo. Other places I've gone to so far include Kyoto, Osaka, Nara, and then a bunch of little cities within Tokyo as well. So I've been, I've been to a lot of places so far since I've been here. I would say this experience has shaped me, you know, physically, emotionally, mentally. It's definitely encouraged me to get out of my comfort zone, explore new places, see new things, meet new people. I've met so many new people from all over the world, uh, most notably from like Sweden, Netherlands, the UK, uh, some Australians, Hong Kong, lots of different people with different perspectives. I'm taking a lot of business classes. One of them in particular is actually an innovation class where we talk about different innovations and how they've impacted the world. It is more so of a graduate level course, so I am definitely doing more analytical cases. For example, one of them is Instacart. It's my own specific case, but I'm learning about Instacart and how that came to be and why that was such an interesting innovation to say the least. In regards to entrepreneurship, you don't really hear startups unless it's usually by a foreign company. Work culture here is tedious, to say the least. It's not the greatest. I would even argue that it may be a little bit worse than America. Just a little bit worse. But the quality of life here is amazing. I would say the way that being a toaster ambassador has shaped me being here is the very fact that I was learning about different peoples and their interests. I remember oftentimes when I was at work, I would talk to graduate students, undergrad students. The nice thing about the area is that anybody from any school could congregate there and study. Typically it'd be people in groups of like specific classes, but sometimes like if they had like generals, they had a complete, it'd be like completely different people. So I remember meeting a couple of people from there and that's definitely helped me with my social skills. <laughs> Being more open-minded to people, understanding perspectives, values, beliefs, and so forth. When I came here, it was just me doing the exact same thing, but from a grander perspective. And especially when adjusting to a new country, you know, you have to understand certain things that you can and can't do. Even though I find myself in a very isolated area because I'm like living in an international dorm, I still had the opportunity to meet all these different people from all over the world, which is super cool. And now I have like connections and f not even connections, just like friends that I can talk to and places I can go to because I finally know somebody who could probably take me around. <laughs> and then how this will shape me. Shape me coming back, I don't think I'll really be the same when I go back. I mean, my goals in life have definitely shifted because I realized there is more to see out there. I've always known that there's always more to see in the world, but I think it's kind of hard to internalize it until you've actually done it. There's just some things that you can't really learn. You start to have an understanding, especially when you're driven out of far, far, far away from your comfort zone. I am 14 hours away from home. I have no family here. I have friends now, but you know, at the time I was here, I, I barely knew anybody, but also, when you're going somewhere completely new, it's just something that you realize, like, it's it's fine. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> so, I would say I now have, like, an otherworldly view, aka the Eastern world. It's definitely, I think, this trip makes me realize that there's just more to do in the world. There's more things to discover. I think encouraging people to get out of their comfort zone, even if it's, you know, one week, two weeks, I think that's still enough time to understand how big the world is. I think that's like, even when I stepped in, it was like, I instantly got it. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's just go with that so far. <laughs>